Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the Northside Insider. Welcome to the first video on this channel. Uh, we're going to be giving you guys some up-to-date news and alerts about the Chicago Cubs, a team that I love dearly. Uh, please follow me on X at CHC Northside and on Instagram at Northside Insider. Uh, there I'll be posting whenever something happens, some rumors happen, little jersey swaps here and there. Uh, basically all things Cubs. Um, but without further ado, let's get right into it. 30 seconds in, why not? Most recently, the Chicago Cubs acquired a former uh, Dodgers prospect, Michael Bush, in a four-player deal. The headliner, Bush, is 26 years old and has had some major success in minor league baseball. Last year with Oklahoma City, uh, Los Angeles' AAA affiliate, he had 323 with a 431 on-base percentage, 618 slug, and a whopping 1,049 OPS, along with 27 dingers and 90 runs batted in. He did receive the call to the Major League Baseball, but only played in 27 games, and within the small sample size, produced some not-so-great numbers, hitting 167 with a 247 on on-base percentage, 292 slug, and 539 OPS, with two home runs and seven RBIs. However, this carries no room for alarm. In such a sample size, he really did not have a chance to develop properly, like he will have an opportunity to do in Chicago. He will most likely spend majority of his time addressing the first base situation on the north side. He is a great fit for this new Chicago Cubs core, as he has that lefty pop the Cubs have been so desperately looking for. Side note, this move will not have any effect on the Cubs' pursuit of star-free agent Cody Bellinger. A lot of people had concerns about Bellinger, and the Cubs are still trying to strike a deal with him, so don't be worried about that. I know fan favorite, we all want him back after such a successful season. That's not gonna This, this move is not going to play a factor, uh, but I feel like this is, that, that situation is going to drag out, considering Scott Boris and his tendency to want to get every penny possible. It was also noted that the Dodgers attempted to send Bush as a part of a package to the south side for Dylan Cease and then flipped Dylan Cease for some prospects. Obviously, that didn't work out and the Cubs were able to snag him. So next, we're going to get into the second part of this deal about the Cubs acquiring right-handed reliever Yancy Almonte as a part of this deal. Almonte is 29 years of age and has had some big-time success with Los Angeles in 2022. Then he posted a 1.02 ERA with in 35 and one-thirds innings pitched. This was an incredible season that Almonte unfortunately had a hard time repeating in 2023, which resulted in a 5.06 ERA, 3-2 and two record, and 48 innings pitched. The Cubs were in desperate need of help to their bullpen, and this move certainly does boost their bullpen, especially if he can find some of the success he had in 2022. Almonte's repertoire includes a mid-90s fastball and a low-80s sweeper that he relies and finds most of his successes with. The Cubs sent a pair of prospects to acquire these guys, and at first I was a little iffy about it when I heard that one of set of prospects would be 2022 second-round pick left-hander Jackson Ferris. Last season in low-A Myrtle Beach, Ferris had a 3.38 ERA across 18 starts and seems to have the makings of a top-of-the-rotation strikeout machine. However, you need to give to get, and this move certainly could pan out for both teams and fit their desired needs. The last piece of the deal was outfielder Zaire Hope, who was an 11th round selection, who has some great speed, and although we do not know exactly how Hope will produce throughout the minor leagues, he definitely could be a key prospect for the Dodgers in a couple years. So honestly, I would rate this trade for probably like a B plus, A minus, because I feel like the Cubs really got to address their first base situation last season, going with Mancini and Hosmer as a platoon on the surface looked pretty well put together and honestly i was kind of a fan of the move in the off season although that didn't end up working out didn't produce and um we had a good look internally with matt mervis midway through the season in about may and similar to bush he never really had that time to develop and produce kind of poorly but i feel like michael bush has a very high ceiling compared to matt mervis and um i i'm really a big fan of this move plus when you look at the dodger side of things they're in a win now state with freeman uh, Yamamoto and Otani so they're looking for the sustained success um, with Zaire Hope and Jackson Ferris who you never know in five years you could be looking at Jackson Ferris as a future ace of the Dodgers staff but that's not the scare you need to give to get like said prior the last topic I will get into today is about the Cubs star free agent signing from the NPB left-hander Shota Imanaga Imanaga is one of the most desired pitchers on the free agent market the Cubs were able to reach a four-year 53 million dollar deal with Imanaga which had some interesting clauses in there. First, after two years, the Cubs have the option to extend the contract to five years, $80 million. If they choose not to utilize this, Imanaga then has the option to test the free agent market yet again, and the same will go for year three. Definitely a team-friendly deal, which can be impactful to both parties if all goes to plan. 
Imanaga has had some major success in the NPB, posting a career 3.18 ERA with a 64 and 50 record, 1,002 and two thirds innings pitched, and a 1.11 whip. Last year, he posted a 2.66 ERA in 159 inning pitched and a whip of 1.01. Hopefully, he translates his talent to the major league level well. The only real concern is his fly ball tendencies, which should actually benefit him in the first couple months of the season as Wrigley tends to blow in a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some use of it. I will definitely post more as the Cubs make some more moves in free agency. Uh, this is my first video, so I'm going to try to improve as I make more, you know, get more familiar with it. So um, I hope you guys learned something, if not found this somewhat entertaining. Um, but for all Cubs updates, make sure you follow me on X at CHC Northside and Instagram at Northside Insider. Hope you guys have a great one. And as always, go Cubs, go.